everyone! I'm back today with a new bag in review and this time I'm going to review the Michael Kors Selma Tote. This beautiful bag is a bag that I got a year and a half ago when I went to Chicago. A bit of story behind this is that when I went to Chicago I had no plans to purchase a bag and I didn't really need a new bag. But um, we spent five days in the city, then we went to Wisconsin and we came back to the city. And during the first chunk of the trip I was browsing at Macy's and I came across this bag. I instantly fell in love with it. I called my best friend and was like, look at this bag, this is so beautiful, I need it. And she was like, no, if you don't really need a bag, come on, don't buy it, etc. But when we went to Wisconsin, all I could think about was this bag. I was literally obsessed with it. And on the very last day in Chicago, I rushed into Nordstrom that was really close to our hotel and I purchased it. I actually was torn between this blue color and beautiful burgundy one, but I decided to go for the blue one because I don't really have any blue handbags. I thought it would be a great neutral, you know, with just a pair of skinny jeans, some flats, white t-shirts. This bag does the job for you. Ever since I got it, I've been obsessed with it and I use it all the time. First of all, I think that the shape is really timeless but really unique in the same time. It's a beautiful bag that I get asked about all the time, whether it's on my blog, on these YouTube videos or in real life. So I'm going to talk about a bit more about the bag itself. As I said, it is a beautiful blue color that literally goes with everything. I even wear it with black, I think it looks great. If you're going for a casual look, if you're going somewhere a bit more fancy, what I usually do is that I take off the strap and it looks really classic and really chic. What I love about this bag is that it has a really nice shoulder strap. So I can wear it crossbody if I want to, but usually I wear it over my shoulder. I really like it, it is really practical to be honest with you if you're going on a shopping spree or if you're strolling around town or if you're going away in a city and you're gonna be visiting all day, this is a nice feature to have. What's even nicer about that is that, as I said, you can take it off really easily, you just like, um, unclick it and you have like a beautiful classic bag. Of course you can also take it as a handbag or carry it on your arm as well. What I love about this bag is that it is really big, I can fit a lot of stuff in it but it doesn't feel too big or too oversized. To be honest with you, this is a great work bag. Whenever I go to work, I can fit my MacBook Air in it, I can fit my iPad, I can fit my two planners because yes, I do have multiple planners. I can fit like makeup bag, my wallet, my keys, my phone, lipstick, all that kind of good stuff, all fits in there. And actually when I came back from Chicago, my hand luggage was full and so was my checked in luggage. So, I had this bag as my um, like carry-on bag, my like handbag carry-on bag, but I had my Prenza Scholar PS11 tucked inside of it because there was no way I'm gonna put my PS11 in a checked luggage. So I actually fit another handbag into this bag to tell you how large it is. What I love about it is that it has a nice zip closure. This is something that I really like because I feel it's a bit more safe when you walk around and if I trip and my bag falls onto the ground, I don't have all my stuff lying around me. So that's really convenient. The zipper is really nice as well. It's a beautiful quality. It has Michael Kors embossed on it. And something else I like about this bag is that although it is a designer bag, it's not too obvious. Of course, it has the gold letters Michael Kors on the front, but it doesn't on the back. So if you're a bit conscious about that, you can totally wear it this way. The design is exactly the same and you're not showing off that you have a Michael Kors bag whatsoever. The inside of the bag is where it gets really awesome. The lining itself is a beautiful material with the Michael Kors logo. But what I love about this bag is that it has a lot of built-in organization in it. So this is really a truly great bag if you're going on a city trip or somewhere that you want to be able to reach exactly what you want really quickly. So in here, it has two nice flat pockets. These are really roomy. I can fit like tissues or wet wipes or um, my passport if I'm traveling, stuff like that. On the other side, it has a really large and roomy zipped pocket, which I absolutely love to store my hand sanitizer, my lip gloss, anything that has to do with makeup usually goes in that pocket. And then it has another one of these flat pockets and a phone pocket. 
And furthermore, it even has this little link to put your keys in so that you never lose your key. And that, whenever all the pockets are filled, you still have an awful lot of room into the bag to put whatever you want in it. So overall, this is by far one of the best purchases I've made. This is a pretty affordable designer bag. We're talking something like $300, I think, which is absolutely not comparable to the prices of like Celine, Hoza's cooler and stuff like that. So if you want to indulge and treat yourself, this is definitely a great purchase. I love it. It's holding up great because I use it at least three times a week and it hasn't lost its shape, which is something that I was really conscious about. But it's holding up great, the quality is great. It's really light as well, which is something important because I really like Alexander Warren bags, I really like Stella McCarthy Falabella bags, but to be honest with you, those are nightmares because they weigh like two kilos when they're empty. But this one is really light and this is a bag that I would highly, highly recommend to anyone. I think it is a great handbag and a great purchase. So that's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about the bag or about something else, please leave that in the comment section down below and make sure to click the click more section because it always has a ton of info about my makeup, about the product that I'm talking about. So for example, this bag, it will have info of what I'm wearing and stuff like that. So make sure to check that out and I will see you next time guys. Take care, bye.